What's going on, you bastards? This is Eric Johnson. And I'm RBM, and we don't love you. Okay, anyway. This is the Tale of Two Trilogies, Stack 5. That's right, we have the final, the finale of two fights tonight. It is Mauricio Hopefully. Shogun Hua and Quentin Rampage Jackson. They are, let's be honest. I mean, it could go to a draw, let's be we honest. We also have, for the Affliction Heavyweight title, Fedor and Fabricio Verdutti. And then we got the inner middleweight title because what was it? The because Dan Henderson got injured. Dan Henderson's hurt, so Nate Mark Ward was supposed to be fighting for the title. But now that uh, now that uh, fucking what's his face got hurt, now it's down between Tim McKenzie. Tim McKenzie will take uh, his place, and we will have a interim middleweight title fight, and the winner of that will face Dan Henderson. Well, well, let's just say whoever is the champion walking out of that walking out of that title fight probably has their days numbered as champion. We'll just leave it at that. Yes, I know, and yeah, whoever wins out of uh, Dan Henderson and well, whoever the whoever one of those two wins, <laughs> their days could be numbered, as we have yeah. two very strong middleweights coming mm -hmm. after that title. Since we look at the rankings, they're already in the top five. So they'll be getting immediate title shots almost. I don't know who wins. We're going to put them against each other. Whoever wins goes after the main champ. Then the main event tonight, that's just going to decide who had going after the light heavyweight champ. Yep. So, yeah, the light, the light heavyweight title will be uh, decided in September, I believe, of this yep. year. So. Took nine months in game for the tournament. Felt like it took nine years in real life. But we finally... Ooh, who looks like people be. think who was going to win. That's interesting. Even though I think they put Quentin Jackson as the slight favorite in the betting yeah. odds. But I mean, we'll see. We'll just see. Hey, Steve won with the majority. That's you, know, you know what? Steve, Steve thought it was going to be Jackson, but he got but he panicked because he was the last guy. So he's like, well, uh, people are always all going for who. I guess I'm going to. I guess I will, too. And uh, Matt says, fuck you. Verdum's going to retain his title. Everyone else said, yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, did, did you even see that fight? That was a That's what I'm saying. I think Verdum's going to get this, man. Uh, then we have the Tim. I hope Tim McKenzie doesn't win. Looks like he just got electrocuted. He just decided, hey, it's a new hairstyle. Um, Literally the most electrifying man in uh, MMA history. The most electrifying man in all of affliction. Anyway, um, in all of fighting entertainment. Anyway, um, so the sports. But Steve, he, but Steve was completely confident about this. He's like, man, I'm the most unsure out of all of you. Even I know Mark Hart's gonna. Win. It's funny. Um. And what else we have? We have a. Uh, Daniel Pewter's back. Looks like Sanchez is going to beat his ass. Well, Appar maybe. Apparently, this is the co-main event of Affliction 21. And, wow, about 19 shows later, almost two years ago, or one year ago, oh. Pewter won by TKO. And this is the, this is the opener, Thales Latest versus The Beast, Brian Baker. And it looks like Baker's not going to be beasting in this fight. Basically, we got, we got a stacked card for you guys tonight. Yep. Okay, that's Sim through all the shit. Yep. Josh Rafferty wins. With a unanimous Good decision. For him. Great fight. He's now 12 and 10. Great fight, though. Huh. Yeah. That's what he says. He wants to fight Dave Newborn. Everyone wants to fight that guy. Okay, 12 and 10. Um, Hitman Jason Brill. Never heard of him. Apparently we got him at some point. I don't know when. Mike Whitehead. It's right down. Hey, hold on. It's, this is right down the middle. Two wrestlers, both at 110. Interesting. Let's see who wins. Hitman Jason yeah. Brill defeats Ooh. Mike Whitehead by TKO in the second round. Wow. So the fight was ready for good. A 37-year-old Hitman. Yeah. Oh, yes. that's that was the sad guy who that was that that guy was the same guy. It just looks so sad. 
be sad. Hey, this is his first win back in the professionals. So. Visibly delighted. He's just happy to be back in the professionals. I'm back. Um, I'm winning. Congratulations on your debut there, Jason Burles. I wish my I wish my family was here. <laughs> he's just so sad. Texas crazy yeah. horse Heath Herring. I don't think he's doing so well. Two and two. Eh, he's average. He's okay. He's average. He be he beat Bobby Lashley. A son of a bitch. I'll be a son of a bitch at Bobby Lashley. Um, against, uh, we going against Michael Russo. Which I thought Russo's okay, right? No, he, he had a draw against Hollis Gracie. Um. And a poor fight. Two poor fights back to back. He's not a, a great split, fighter. A split draw. Dude. See what happens. Texas Crazy Horse, he's herring with another split decision. Uh. Fucking split the city. I mean, another poor fight. In this, on the and remember, it's just guy. Russo. Remember, Heath Herring's having good fights, and well, now they had a fight with Russo, and now it's poor. It's not. I don't Dude, think it's Heath Herring's fault. Hold on, is my? I'm. I know it's Michael Russo's fault. Uh, what's Michael Russo doing? Or how he, he is been doing? now? I mean, he has a winning record though. With us, so I don't want to get rid of him. He's just gonna be a prelim guy. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Since he has a good record, he'll just be a prelim guy. Plus, I think Michael Russo's been with us since, like, uh, July 2009. Yeah, he's a fucking original. Ah, uh, he's uh, he's an OG, so he has to stay. I, know, I agree. Yeah, he does have to stay. He's an, he's an OG. Let's see here. This is a tough fight. Gonna show respect to Russo. This asshole's gonna keep me on the prelims. Anyway. Ooh, check Congo and Rico Rodriguez. It's gonna be a good one. I think Rico sucks, right? Yeah, oh, he's gonna be 0 and 7 if he loses. Jesus Christ. Come on, Rico. He's getting fired. He's gonna get fired. He might. Even though he's an OG too, right? Yeah, he's a he's a real OG. May 2009. Let's I mean, see what we have to fire him if he loses this. Oh, he fucking got a heel hook in the in a minute of the first round. Does that? Does that just mean Czech Congo is awful? Yeah, Czech Congo sucks, everybody. Breaking news. Um, he wants to fight Wesley Correa. Of course, you want to pick on the easy guy. I mean, why not, right? Yeah, anyway. I just got my first win in affliction. I'm going to call someone out because I definitely deserve to. Anyway, oh, here we go. We got a, uh, I believe, a women's straw weight. Yep. I can't remember what 135 is. See what happens. I think the person with no pictures Chisa, is going to win. Chisa Yonazawa. Yeah, you know what? I thought the other person with the no picture was going to win. Um, majority decision. Wow. Wow. All right. Joshua Hupp says draw. Eugene Bernard. Bernard says 29-28 in Ozawa. I was going to say, well, imagine that being a split draw. Karina Taylor. No idea who that is. We have Hari Hari versus Yumi she, Saito. She wants to get it over quick. Yeah, she wants, she's telling her, Hari Hari. Yumi Saito defeats Hari Hari. Oh, wow. She defeated Hari Hari. She said, don't worry, I'll make you Hari Hari. And chokes her out. A great fight. You know what happened? Uh, Hari Hari, she, she was she was beat, She was was winning, but then she realized she was going to be late for her. So she, so she had so, her opponent wrap her up around her neck and just tapped out. Right. Anyway, I'll show you Hari Hari. Let's see Allison Duckworth from Toronto, Ontario. So, you know, she's a better one. And exactly my point. Kamara Lock in three minutes of the first round. It is uh, yeah, I bet she's on steroids. Probably. She's a Canadian. She's too nice, eh? Anyway. Rob Roy, Sharon Leggett takes on uh, the Carney, Nick Lentz. What a Carney. Sharon Leggett wins. Making Good him. For him. Three and three in affliction. He's been with us since July 2010. It's about two years now in the making. 
Who knows? This could be his anniversary signing. It could be. He wants to fight Miles Morola. Never heard of him. Apparently, we have that guy. Remember him? I don't. Me neither. Uh, Matt J- Matt Jaggers, Mick Jagger taking on L.C. Davis. See that there. And L.C. Davis now defeats Matt Jaggers, which makes him now Mick. two and five. I guess Mick Jaggers was a one. He's now one and two. But L.C. Davis is now two and five. Let's fight Frank Gomez. Diesel, Travis Wolf. Here we go. The headline of the prelims. We're going to see if uh, Travis Wolf can get the 62 and 14. My God. What a record, huh? Yeah. And we'll see if Tito goes to 17. See, yeah, and see if he goes to 18. Yeah. See if he goes to 18, 10. And, and Travis Wolf defeats uh, Tito. Man, and he tapped him out, too. And he tapped him Isn't, out. Ain't that great? Dude, Tito's a submission fighter. Tito is a submission fighter. How is he losing? By tapping. Submission defense, 66.5. Let's look at his submission offense. Don't we have Chuck as like a comment? Can we have Chuck as a commentator? Uh, I'll have to look after this. I mean, I because I think I thought we'd sign him and you know if he is a commentator, he's like, oh look at this idiot tapping out like a fool. Right, and here we go with the opener. Now, this is going to be a good fight. The opening be, part of this, the main this is, card. This is just going to be a grappling match, an exciting grappling match. Sure is. we got judo wrestling. Taking Take down right off BJJ. the bat. BJJ. There we go. Leg lock. That's quick. Wow. In about a minute or a minute 30. Yeah, Wow. All right. I mean, just, latest. A, just a quick. Yeah. Now he's he four and three. Down, pounded him, pounded him out for, then just hooked his leg. Another July 2010 signing. Yeah, this could be his anniversary too. He's now I mean, four and three. Impressive, impressive showing by Thales' latest. He started out 18 and one. He's now 22 and four. Um, I say he's doing alright. Impressive. Yeah. Impressive performance. Brian Baker won his debut, lost his second match. He beat Chael Sonnen. Yep, split decision. Number I think 12, we said that He's the number 12 won. middleweight in the world. Oh, wow. He's the number 19 middleweight in the world, so now he's going to move up in the world rankings. Yeah. Because he's now the... He's a number six middleweight. He's the number five middleweight. Ooh, looks like Thales Lay is going in the top five now. Yeah. And a good fight to start. And he wants to fight Nate Marcord. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Isn't he fighting for the title tonight? Yeah, how funny, huh? This is literally backstage it's like, fucking I wanna, shit talking. It's like, I want a challenge for the interim title. Then we're shake our heads backstage like, nah. Well, nah. maybe later on, like a year from now. We'll get maybe that maybe two it. years from now, because it's about to get all booked up. He's like, what are you talking about? You'll see. This middleweight division is going to be taken over soon. Ooh, you know, I just noticed we have a strike versus a kickboxer. It's just going to be on, a, on the feet the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. I love my notification ringtone. Mail, motherfucker. Ooh, b- both trading left hooks. There you go. I think uh, Daniel Pewter's a southpaw, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so they're not hitting anything that big. They're just missing a lot, apparently. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ooh, connects cleanly with right hand, Pewter does. Oh, man. Pewter has a right hand blocked. Just <laughs> look past one of uh, Sanchez's hands. See that? Right now they're just uh, side. Right now they're even at the moment. Who misses a high kick? That's it. Who would you say won that round? Apparently, Pewter. What do you think? Ah. Uh... I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Seemed like not a lot, none of them got really anything done, but you know, Pewter did hit that clean right hand. Sanchez with the right hook blocked. I'm gonna check something on my phone real quick. Ooh, Sanchez is starting to breathe a little deep. Already? Jesus Christ. Leg kick easily checked. Ooh, Peter's starting to slow down, but it looks like he's just conserving some energy as he prepares to take Sanchez into deeper waters. Ooh, big right. Ooh! Oh, wow. The gash under Sanchez's eye, I believe. Left kick to the left kick to the rib cage. That's not going to help Sanchez's stamina. I think Peter's he's just trying to take Sanchez in deep deep end so he can uh, take him he's out. Trying for to, good. He's trying to take him into the deep end. Yeah, the deep. He's trying to take him deep into the third round so we can knock him out. Uh, I get it. Oh, fuck. Ooh, he's trying to hit it, finish him with the head kick, but he fails. If you beat deep breaths, but Trey Sanchez. Another gash under Sanchez. Ooh, I mean, that one just got reopened. Ooh, Peter's starting to get tired. Uh-oh. Yeah, man. I have a feeling Peter's going to lose another decision. Yeah. Um, Unless Peter can come out with, like, a big head kick for finish, I don't think he's winning this. Peter's just not looking so good. Once he reached 30, it's just not working out for him right now, huh? Back on the way, 30 seconds. Oh, this might work for this might work for Pewter. They had the the doctor separated both. Oh, fall into a clinch. All right, so unanimous decision for Sanchez. Uh, it's probably gonna look like that. Let's see. Um. Oh, there we go. Twenty. What? Pewter. Thirty twenty-seven. Okay. Oh, Pewter wins. Whoa. That Man. was a robbery. That was a poor fight. What Dude. the fuck is this? I can see that maybe Pewter won first round, but what? What were these judges smoking? They definitely smoked something. What the hell was that? Okay. Whatever. He's 13-2 now. 
Just gonna, you know, maybe this will get his mode. Interim maybe. title fight, people. And the interim championship bout. For the middleweight title between Tim, the Wrecking Machine, McKenzie, the great versus the great Nate. Nate, the slight favorite. Very slight favorite. It's gonna be a very close fight. Got some. We got a Muay Thai kickboxer taking on a submission fighter. And I believe McKenzie was the one who stepped in. A minute. Yeah, he did. So McKenzie, he's doing the right thing. He came in clenched right away, put him up against the cage. He's hitting him now. <laughs> Scores with a right cross and Mark Court does. All right. Yeah, I'd say McKenzie won that round. Yeah. Going for round number two now. It's a five-round fight. We got three five-round fights in a row. Here. Yep. Are you ready to sit through uh, fifteen rounds if possible? Fifteen. Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> we here all night. I want to see my my uh, favorite Russian. Massive right hook to the jaw. Wow. Ford's knocked down. Tim McKenzie might be facing Dan Henderson here. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, maybe. That's it. It's a knockout wow. victory. Tim McKenzie. McKenzie. Choosing his shots well. He, he, t he decided to come in last minute and... Uh, I guess uh, the abrupt switch of training camp for Nate Mark was uh, was just Bad too move. much for him. And it's looking like now that'll be his fourth win in a row. And he All right, will so he be, will fight Dan uh, Henderson. Yeah. He's a number 15 middleweight, too. What a big jump for him. Yeah, from number, from number 15, not even cracking the top 10, he's to being the to being the number two guy in the division. Sometimes it's what it takes, right? Sometimes it just takes stepping up at the right time. You know, yeah. Like an injury, like sometimes, like that's what makes MMA exciting. It just takes that one moment. Can you capitalize on it? And he did. So. Yeah, just hit him with a nice right. He's the interim middleweight champion. He's gonna have to study his opponent Dan Henderson, and as, a, as in a few months, he will be going up against him. Now, of course, Dan Henderson, known for his Hendo bomb, his big overhand right. But we can't talk about Dan Henderson now. We are moving. Theodore yep. Milianenko, Fabricio so Verdi. Keep that in mind. Tim McKenzie and Dan Henderson will be coming. Eventually. Maybe not now. But we'll, we will see it later on in the year of 2012. Now, people, we have Theodore versus Fabricio 3. In their That'd first fight, Theodore dominated Fabricio and was able to finish him in the second round, I believe. And in their last fight, Fedor, he was knocking Fabricio around for all five rounds until he got caught. And Fedor had to tap out. But now we're here. Fedor says he, he Fedor was ready day one for this rematch. They, even, Fedor, even though Fedor was finished, he was the one ready, ready for a fight. And now we're going to get the final chapter, hopefully. Fedor, final chapter. People know Fabricio people Verdun. Think yeah. is, Fedor is uh, the slight favorite. People think that that fight, it was a fluke. They think it was a fluke. I think it so was, they're too. Choosing, so they're choosing Fedor. Fedor, he's coming in. He is, he is and he wants his heavyweight title back. But Fabricio, he has even more to prove, arguably. He wants to prove that he's not a true champion. He wants to prove that he's not a... 
champion. He wants to prove that that was not just a that he can beat Fedor. I believe this is also his first title defense. Yeah, his first title defense. And it's, he lost against Fedor in September of 2010. And ever since, he has made a name for himself by beating Mario Rinaldi, Antonio Silva, and Heath Herring. And of course, Antonio Silva, best known for winning against Kimbo Slice. That's right. Anyway, so in this series. He's a member of and the Shootbox team as a permanent member. And he's also a member with Lyoto Machida and Chris Cyborg, Destino, uh, with Fedor. I mean, look at this winning streak this fucking guy had. For so, for about 10 fucking years plus. And it all came to a crashing halt in 2012. After he got caught in the non And yes, uh, Fedor's fucking uh, loss in real life that broke that winning streak was against Fabricio, so that, that part of history. Although, it wasn't in a rematch. But we're, no. but that's enough talking, enough hyping up this fight. Let's get into it. We are excited here at The Bird Wrestling, and here we go. Or let's do let's do it, uh, the Mike Wrestling Goldberg. Wrestling and MMA. All yeah, right, should we call Eric, it? give us the Mike Goldberg. And, okay, here we go, okay. And here we go. Okay, I'm sorry. Fedor Milianenko. Vicavallo Fabricio Verdu. And here we go. You know he's never got to call a Fedor match, huh? except for when he's old. In Bellator. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to see him in UFC at this time, huh? Mel Milianenko wants to force a striking exchange. to hurt Fabricio. So I was entertaining the idea of doing a UFC series at this time and getting Fedor to join UFC. Yeah. Now that'd Wait be a minute. Scores look fantastic. fantastic. Right it's over. Fight. Unbelievable. Fedor dusts his fist. He says, Fluke King. And he and walks every, away with his every title. Every one of the experts was right. Fedor is determined to get that heavyweight title back. And he is now heavyweight champ for the third time. If that it was a fluke. He he just was tired, and he and all it was is that yeah, he got caught. End of the story. This is it. What a fast victory for Fedor Emelianenko. You know what? I think Fedor he's back on his game. Good fight in a while. He is back. The last emperor has returned. The last emperor has returned and for good for the foreseeable future. He's We're gonna back see and better than ever. Him and Ben Rothwell will be going up against each other. Perhaps this will be the next. Perhaps we will see a new winning streak out of Fedor. One greater than the last. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. For the next five years, can he keep up a winning streak? Let's see here, real quick, what he says. Yeah. He says that winning the Affliction Heavyweight title is unbelievable and a great moment in his career. That was a great moment. Yeah, in his well, only winning it for the third time. That's what I'm saying. Only. <laughs> and the unless last time he just gave it up. Uh, I know. And now the second trilogy. First time, Mauricio Shogun Hua beat Quentin Rampage Jackson. The next time, Quentin Rampage beat finished Shogun. Now we're here to settle the score. In our main event, winner fights the light heavyweight champion. Well, yeah, we'll fight the winner of the finale of the light heavyweight Grand Prix title tournament. Yep. And here we go. Light heavyweight title Grand Prix, I should say. Yep. Here we go. We have a one inch height difference. Which wouldn't really mean anything, except for the reach. The only thing that was 75 inches to 76. So we have a slight, a slight reach advantage with a slight height advantage. So now, nothing really. Your Quentin Rampage, now, for Quentin Rampage Jackson, you have to know granite chin and granite hands to match it. 
So will we be seeing a knockout tonight? Who knows? Hey, wait a minute. A faint leaves Jackson vulnerable. There you go. Who are landing some good strikes after a good faint? Who a kick, it kick, hits a kick to the lead leg. There you go. A shot one two from Jackson. This is going to be a heavy draw. These guys are very popular. One of the two of the most popular uh -huh. light heavyweights in the world. I mean, hell, two of the most popular fighters in the world in general. They just happen to be in the same weight class. In the same company. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if this was UFC, we'd probably be seeing something like Quentin Jackson versus uh, Joe Schmo, uh, Joe Schmo and... Wow, yeah, the only way for Joe Schmo to get big is if he beats him, you know? But you know, that ain't gonna yeah. happen. Yeah, but here at Affliction, we decide to give you the fights that fans want. That's what I'm saying. We don't we don't beat around the bush. We put the two guys together. If they if two fighters are the best, we need an outcome. We don't beat around the bush and say, well, this guy won... So this guy won five fights, but this guy won those five fights faster. We don't do it like that. We just push it. We just put them together and see and watch fireworks. That's what I'm saying. We're not the WWE. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm not trying to separate these two on purpose. We're not boxing. We're not boxing. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> we ain't boxing. We don't do that shit. Because boxing does do that shit a lot. Who uh, is well off target with a head kick? That's just going to cost him big. No you get like one super fight every like fucking 20 years of boxing. Yep. I saw something superb. We have one minute left in this round. Ooh, Who's getting who is, tired? Who is. I mean, he keeps throwing out those head kicks like it's at Halloween. I know. He's got to learn. He's got to. He's just there trying to patience himself. This is a vicious right hand. Oh, here we go. 1919 level right now. Jackson comes forward. He's confident after. He knows who is tired. So he's going to try to finish it here. Who is shattered? He's looking to get it clean. And like, oh, there we go. Jackson can't get who down to the ground with his wrestling. Who is tired? Looking really tired. Who is not looking good for Hua? Mm. Ooh. Short right uppercut. I mean, if I were Jackson, just I'd just punish him with some dirty boxing and some, That's what he's and doing. some elbows from the clinch. Yeah, he was doing the. He's doing. He's just. He's just beating him up. He's just gonna wear him down even more. Short left uppercut. Short left uppercut, and Not you can't. Short, you can't man. take too. You can't take too many of those from Quinn Jackson. Here we go. Shane Morton separates him. Now Jackson. Ooh, getting Jackson tired. lands a right hand. Jackson lands a right Who hand. Who avoids it? Here we go. Nice driving Jackson into a clinch, and that's it. Jackson well, it just looks like a, It just looks like a hug. Yeah. 29 28 Jackson. That's what I score here. Yeah. Ooh, who, uh, even though he's tired, he's pressuring Jackson. That's just Jackson a low kick to the front leg. Oh, trying to big right. Jackson and Hua are very fatigued right now. Straight nice straight right hard, from Jackson. Hua has the chin of granite. Yeah. It's going to come down to a mistake. Both world-class oh, yeah. fighters. I but believe they're... It does come down to a mistake. Will the other guy top be too tired to capitalize? Both top ten light heavyweight fighters in the world. Whoa. A tired Jackson goes for a hot kick. He misses, though, which is going to cost him in probably this round in the next. And it cost him in stamina points. I don't think Hua has much energy left. Same with Jackson, though. I'm telling you, it's going to be down to a mistake. Someone's going to make a mistake, and it's going to cost Ooh, them. a scything kick. Looks very tired. My goodness. 
After three rounds, these guys. Man, this is going to be... Jackson moving. He, he, he just wants... Jackson, even though he's tired, he just wants to throw. Yeah, I know. That's what I like about Jackson. He'll always throw. All right, cross lane hard. That's it. Wow. I mean, Hua might be rocked going back to his bench. And it looks like Hua needs a finish. I mean, this could be prime opportunity for Jackson to finish Hua. There we go. Straight right lands hard. Dude, Jackson's Hua limping. Is just too tired. Jackson is limping. I his mean, leg those, is those hurt. leg kicks from Hua, those leg kicks from Hua is going to put any man down. But a man like Jackson, they have to walk through. Oh, here we go. Trip. And trip don't work. He blocked. It takes control of the grapple. And I mean, I mean, if Jackson I attempts mean, to wrestle just... Hua to the ground, he got him. Hua has to pull guard. Here we go. Passing. Can't. Now, and... Jackson can. Ooh, he's looking. He's looking to get some. Hua almost hooks. got double underhooks. Oh, Hua did? Yeah, he almost got double underhooks on from uh, the bottom. I mean, that's got to be Jackson. He was just piecing him up. Yeah, it's like Quentin Jackson's going to win here. Yeah, 49-46. Quentin Rampage Jackson's the winner by unanimous decision and average. Average, yeah. average fight, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Very good talker, and that's the end. 96% Not commercial. 66 million. We got about 60, now. so. All right, we got about 10 million from. We got. 1.2 million from the gate. And 9.4 million from, you know. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we got about 10 million bucks, which is good. Ah, oh, dang it. We didn't, we didn't change up the. Uh, uh, huh? Anyway, hello. All right, so. So, it looks like we got a popularity ever, increase everywhere. Yeah, except that one area down at the bottom. They were just like, eh, what the hell interested. happened? I thought we have TV in Africa. Yeah. Anyway, like, whatever. Eh, not interested. Oh, uh, you know what? They don't have Fuck internet. Fuck this show. Subscribe. All right, we've oh, got to change those bonuses. Oh, I know, we keep forgetting. 100 grand, um, 50 grand. Oh, I thought we were doing 50 grand fighting night bonuses. And 25,000 down the line. Right. So Fedor, he's making out with a nice, nice bonus. Oh, he's got what five of the night and knockout. So he's got seventy-five thousand dollars also. Mm -hmm. to and Fedor made ninety grand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Even with those bonuses, majority of his pay came from. Yeah. How sad is that? So nine nine point two million dollar profit on the show. Quentin Jackson got $2 million. Yep. And we still made a profit. Yep. So. Still made a profit after he, we paid him $2 million. That's how I know he was a good investment. Um, yep. So. He made us money. And we're all living we're all living the capitalist life right now. Man, we probably blew UFC out of the water. I know we did. We definitely did. I want to check UFC, check out the competition, see how much money they made in pay-per-view. We made $9 million on pay-per-view and a $1 million on subscriptions. So, subscribe to us if you're in Russia, South America, Africa. Oh, we don't have any subscriptions place. in Africa yet. Yeah, that other place. In Central America, probably. So yeah, South America, probably. Russia... Which we know Fabricio and uh, 
Fabricio and um, what's his face Fedor definitely got the, both subscriptions on those sides. Yep. So. Okay, we're waiting on the hiring. Come on, load already. What did they sign a family of triplets or something? I don't know. If it's processing all these fucking hirings, here we go. Decisions. There we go. Um, we got some rival bids for Sharon Leggett. I mean, exclusive, exclusive. I'm just gonna hit delegate and see what happens. If we don't begin him, whatever. He's not that big. Um, Man, poor Eddie Sanchez. Eddie Sanchez just can't catch a break. Dude got screwed. Um, want to resign uh, Eddie Sanchez? Sure. Yeah, he's number eight. He's he's in the top ten. I mean, well, as he's right not, now. I mean, I'll just I delegate it. If we lose him, we lose him. Wait, hold on. Josh Cot cost check. Oh, okay. We can get cost check. We want him. Yeah. Yeah, we want Josh cost check. Oh, welterweight, there you go. There's a, there's some competition. Number eight, uh, welterweight in the world, baby. Looks like that's what I'm saying. Country. There's some competition right there. Yeah. Wow, he's a lot. He's worth a lot of fucking money. I mean, he's number eight welterweight in the world. I guess sixty k. I'm not I'm not offering more than sixty k. What's that? Someone sent me an invitation, what? Invitation. It said that you never lost the Right. It says to Eric Ah, okay. Hey, look at that. Ken Flo is also available. We want him. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm almost done. Let's get him. Let's see. How has he been doing? He's been doing okay. He said we have to pick the Take the white car to Sesame Street. You'll know what he's talking about. Around that. Uh huh. You were there before. Yeah, probably. Do you know what he's talking about? No. The Toyota dealer. Do we have to drop it off behind it near Club Julian? Is that Sesame Street? Oh. Uh, he said you went back there before for something. Yeah, because I thought that was the Toyota shit he was talking about. I guess that was just the service station. Yeah. Well, Oh, that's where we got to take it. Yes, Club Julian. Because okay. so I, I was about to go to the fucking place where he bought the damn thing. Okay. <laughs> cool. uh -huh. All right. Rankings. Here we go. Here we go. Ben Ooh. Rothwell is going to be the number one contender. Yeah. Ben Rothwell, uh, the shark. He's on we're going to have to have a rematch with Todd Duffy. It's either going to be with Fabricio. It's going to either be with Antonio Silva. We could probably do his rematch with... Did he beat Fabricio or no? I don't think he ever fought Fabricio, did he? Oh. Well, that could be a fight to make. Watch, Fabricio's going to be back in like five months. Yeah, he is. He got five month, he's got a six-month medical suspension because he got his ass you know kicked. You know what that tells me? That one, punch from Fate, that one punch from Fate which took like five years off of Fabricio's life. I think it did. <laughs> you, you, went, you, you, you were supposed to die at 70. Now you're going to die at 65. You know what? I bet Fate, I bet that was like the first time Fedor was actually mad. That punch just had it. The only thing that punch had was hate in it. And sh I sure fucking did. Um... Maybe Cessnovich and Phil Davis. That'd be a cool one. Yep. Tim McKenzie went from 15 and our, to 2. Sign, our, and our newest signings, Anderson Silva and Yushin Okami. So that's probably why none of these guys are going to be champion for much longer. Yeah. Well, we also plan on doing Anderson Silva and Yushin together. Um, yeah, that, that, you know, Drew Fickett versus Nick Diaz. That's the... Opinion. Drew Fickett seven. Yeah, I'm thinking Drew Fickett and Nick Diaz. Yeah, they have heat with each other. 
Connor and Tony are fighting. When the hell is Habib ready? My God. 28 days. He's, he's still trying we need to book more light, we, we need to book more lightweight fights because look at all the black all right. names. We have to all get right. that Jay shit. J Law versus Gray Maynard or J Law versus that number eleven. Oh uh, yeah. Early Delgado. Uh. Buck Bisbee, number eleven, he's ready to Apparently Saito is now the number one contender. Fuck you, Gina yeah. Toronto, she said. But she's not ready to fight, so... Anything right. else? I don't know. This is very interesting right. to look at. Um, yeah, let me say this would now make it number three. Yep, number three. All right, what's the prestige at? 93%. Um, let's see. Welterweight, four defenses made. I wonder, what, I wonder what's been going on with Frank Trigg. Oh, yeah, he retired. Beat Jake Shields, too. Yeah. How's Jake Shields doing right now? He's Just still recuperating. Got, Out injured, got, eight months. In a, what the fuck happened to him? Cracked? Oh, oh yeah, he struggled. cracked his fucking pelvis. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, I forgot about that. Jesus Christ. I bet Steven Thompson just hurt him so much with that knockout that he had a delayed injury from it. I can't believe Tony Ferguson couldn't ever make a title defense. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? Poor Lineage. Tony. Vitor Belfour, Robbie Lawler, Charles Sonnen, Dan Henderson. Check out this lineage. Only one defense. Fucking Fedor made five defenses the first time. Then got caught, and now he's like, Fedor back. Fedor pissed. Fedor pissed. They door kill everyone he was, now. He was they champion. Angry. He was champion for almost two years. Yep. Well, I want, I want, I want to see if uh, someone can dethrone him faster than the last time. What the fuck else do I want to look at? I swear I want to look at something else. I think that's all we really got to look at. Yep. So. Oh, we yeah. got to get titles for those. I know. Like how that one already has a 71% prestige. You know, I think that's like the automatic prestige gets. No. It's like 58%. Uh, and you know what? It's like, oh, they have a champion, so this can be a championship now. Okay. I think that's it. I don't think we have anything else to do. You know, that's uh, it, people. It's actually a shorter one. Usually an hour long, but... All right. And we don't love you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Our next event is going to be Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson main event. So stay tuned for that. We also have Thompson and Gomi. Yep. And we also have that's going to be a announce, superb main event. Which obviously you know what these two fights are going to be. So that's going to be a stacked now. card right there. Going to be stacked six. Should it be stacked six? No, nah, I'm just joking. We'll see you next and, time. And that's it. We don't love you. Thank you. Stay tuned for we episode 33, I think. Yes. All right. Stay tuned.